Disconnect from the oil, gas, and electric companies. Never pay an energy bill again. Too good to be true? While the offer lasts, volunteer your home as a power generating site to use a compact free energy generator at no cost to you. Heating, cooling, and electricity for your home could be absolutely free. Our company will make money selling excess power to utilities as ordered by Congress. Send $9.95 for a video with details on this limited offer. Call the number on the screen. Make your own declaration of energy independence. Modern technology. The car, airplane, telephone, television, the computer, and fax. Technology's first thought, too good to be true. We're in fact too good to be ignored. Technology exists to replace fossil fuels. A new motor can power your present car without gas or electric. Burn garbage at home with no smoke. Disconnect from the electric company and never pay an electric bill again. Too good to be true? Or too good to be ignored. For years, big money influence has hidden the truth about energy alternatives. Discover the truth for yourself. Give us a call and we'll lend you free our information kit. It's six hours of video demonstrations and explanations that'll astound you, including reports from scientists to support this new technology. It's simple. We loan you the kit for a free look. There's no rental fee and nothing to buy. After two weeks, return it so others can do the same. Upon delivery, give us a credit card number or post-dated check that we can hold. Once the kit's returned, you'll get your check back uncashed. Call the number on your screen. There's nothing to lose. We'll even pay for the call. Think this offer's too good to be true? No, it's too good to be ignored promises to become a lot easier for us when alternate sources of energy successfully replace our current pollution-causing fossil fuels. Steve Rambo's Daily Planet will periodically report on possible alternatives. Tonight, he reports on brown gas. Well, put your thinking caps on, because for most of us, the technical reasons why brown gas works are mighty complicated to understand. So we're going to break it down a little bit. Brown gas begins with water, ends with water. Pretty simple. When it produces a flame, it does, th does so not through explosions like fossil fuel, but through implosions. And here's a definition for a word you'll toss around. When something is sublimated, in this case, it means it's being directly changed from a solid to a gas. So here goes. What the professor has done is taking ordinary tap water, separated it into two atomic components, hydrogen and oxygen, and now we have a clean burning fuel that's renewable and reusable, and when you burn it, it goes right back to water. This is a piece of pure tungsten steel, 100% pure tungsten steel, and it takes 6,000 degrees centigrade, close to 5960 to sublimate, which would take approximately 10 times more than what it takes to weld aluminum. Without any adjustment of this flame, I'm holding my finger there, we can sublimate tungsten steel instantly, go right back to gas. Brown's fuel is also different because the temperature of its flame varies depending on what it's burning. The scientists say the flame temperature is due to an interactive combustion property. The heat is produced by the material. The tougher the material, the hotter the flame gets or the reaction is. So what does all this mean? What exactly could Brown's fuel actually do for us? In the future, with this technology, we will be able to run cars and power plants with clean burning water as a fuel source. And since the earth is covered with two-thirds water, we will no longer have an energy crisis in this country or in the world and we'll clean up the environment in the process. Well, it was working. Incredible. And finally, an energy source of a different kind. Yeah. Today begins one of the biggest weeks for our planet, Earth Week. Each day will be devoted to a different problem affecting our environment. Today is Energy Day and Earthwatch reporter David Garcia joins us now with a look at what some people are doing for this big week. David. Okay, Colleen, from love beads and protest demonstrations 20 years ago to pinstripe, pinstripe rather, corporate mainstream, the environment is today's headline. But is it all talk? We're reaching an energy overload with demand and a short circuit on supply. An unlimited energy source, efficient, pollution-free, and it comes from water, even seawater. Impossible, you say. But what you're seeing is a water flame. We take ordinary tap water, separate it through DC electrolysis into an atomic mixture of hydrogen and oxygen through one hose. And it's a clean, burning, reusable fuel source. It takes nothing from the air, it gives nothing back to the air, and when you burn, you have water as the exhaust, so to speak. 
Developed in Australia, turning water into energy is a radical concept for fueling industry, homes, even automobiles. But advocates say it'll take radical ideas to solve the energy crisis. If everybody used one of these tomorrow for other purposes, we wouldn't have to worry about the ozone layer. We wouldn't have to worry about the emissions from cars or plants. The earth would heal itself.